Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and I'm back with a new tutorial on isometric views. And guys, this time around the object that I've taken up is a hemisphere. And this hemisphere over here rests centrally above a square slab. Oh, that's having a dimension of 50 by 50 by 15. All right. And this hemisphere is having a radius of 25 millimeters. Now for solving this problem, as it is based on isometric projection, we need to make an isometric scale. And I've already made an isometric scale. I'm going to show you this. Okay. So the three dimensions that we do have is this 50, 15 and 25 and 50 being the largest dimension. All right. So initially what we're going to do is we'll draw a line, this line over here at an angle of 45 degrees. Okay, so true length are to be placed at an angle of 45 degrees and I'm going to mark from this point. I'm going to start marking from this point 15, 25 and 50. So these three guys represent the true length. All right. So what we are supposed to do is we are, are supposed to create this so-called isometric projection for which we, we would be requiring the isometric lens corresponding isometric lens. And for that, what I'll do is I'll draw this line over here at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to this base line. Then from these three points, I'll drop these lines vertically in the downward direction until they intersect this blue line somewhere. So this is the intersection point and this is what you call the ISO 50. All right. The isometric length corresponding to this 50. This is the isometric length corresponding to this 25. This is 20 isometric ISO 25 and this over here is ISO 15. All right. So I'll be using all these uh, lengths in my construction. All right. So initially, let us start with drawing a baseline. So here we have a baseline. <clears throat> so initially we'll be drawing this slab 50 by 50 by 15. So the base is 50, 5, 0 in true length. It's corresponding isometric length is going to figure out as 40.82. All right. So let us draw this uh, 40.82. All right. Same stuff has to be done over this side also. That's it guys. Now the next thing to be done is to create this. Um, let me make use of this copy command. You can make use of a drafter. Keep it over here. Tighten the screw then move forward. Draw a line. Same stuff. Repeat it. All right. So that's our base. And the next thing to be done is to give it some height. So the height of the slab is given as 15 millimeters true length. All right. So it's corresponding isometric length is going to be figure. So it's corresponding isometric length is going to figure out as let me see how much it works out. Um, this is going to be. Let me do this once again. So this is working out as 12.25. All right. So here we are going to go upstairs by an amount of 12.25. All right. Let me copy this. You can do this with the help of a drafter. Keep it absolutely set. Done. 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 So height given. All right. Now all these four points above are to be joined. And after joining, it should look something like this. Right. That's it. Now to have clarity in drawing, I'm going to remove these three edges, which will not be visible in this isometric projection. Done. Now, since this hemisphere rests centrally on the top of this square slab, now we have to find the center of the slab. Okay. And the center can be found by using this method. Diagonal, the intersection of diagonals will give you the center in fact. Okay. So this is the center. Let us put a point over here. Just all right. So that's the center. Okay. Now from this center, this height over here is 25. All right. So this is the radius in fact, but you, when you are drawing the isometric projection, this would appear this point, this center of this hemisphere would appear at a height of isometric radius. So that isometric radius is going to figure out as, so this is 25. So it's corresponding length is going to be, let me check how much it is. 20.41. So we need to go upstairs by an amount of 20.41. All right. Now for clarity, guys, I'm going to delete these two edges. Okay. So don't get confused. The site over here is 20.41, which represents the isometric radius. All right. Now 
watch the steps and eventually we'll be through with no real fuss now keep watching all right now keep watching the steps it's self explanatory 20.41 that same isometric radius all right same stuff this side also let me copy this same isometric radius over here also from this is the center of the hemisphere okay this direction and this direction small radius isometric radius then we've got to go this side also and this side all right now we need to construct this so called isometric circle over here let me show you how this can be done and for that i am going to copy so i suggest you now to keep your mini drafters along this line and then move forward and backwards so that you guys can make a parallelogram okay same stuff again keep it over here tighten the screw forward and back all right next up is to identify the smaller diagonal so this over here is the smaller diagonal now for time being i'm going to delete this okay so this is the smaller diagonal and this is the corner and through this corner the opposite ends center let's join it and through this corner again the opposite sides center now this corner is left same stuff has to be repeated and this one all right now i've got four centers and this is what you call the four center method all right so let me start from this point over here and then from this right again let's move forward with this guy as the center and this much as the radius let us rotate this done then this is the center this is the radius let's rotate this all right so that's the isometric view of the circle so this is a hemisphere okay so if you look at a hemisphere from the top it it would appear as a circle all right so that's this over here represents the isometric view of that circle okay so oh, let me darken this you can you guys can do the darkening portion with the help of an edge pencil now this over here is the center and the next step that i'm going to do is to draw a circle simply a circle having a radius equal to that of the radius of the sphere now radius of the sphere is having a radius of 25 all right all right now we've got to remove this upper portion all right and that can be done all right so that's exactly how the hemisphere would look in isometric projection okay so i'm going to be darkening this portion let me do this that's exactly how the hemisphere would look okay guys and uh, that's it and that's it okay and now finally you can darken the portion which is visible that's it and you can also do this this one this one let me darken it okay so this is how the hemisphere would look that's it um if you want to have a much more clearer picture uh, where was the center i don't remember anyway anyway uh, so that's how the isometric projection of a hemisphere would look So this over here is the orthographic projection. This represents the isometric projection. All right. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll try to respond in the best possible way. Okay. So this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Goodbye. Good night, and keep trying.